Hey guys, I got a brand new video for you today. And if you can't tell, my voice is a little bit nasally because I'm getting over a cold, but chill, I'm good. Everything's cool. Uh, I just want to make this video and go over uh, the new Iridian Developer 3.1.1 and see how it processes raw files from the X-T2 uh, because it now supports the X-T2. Um, it also supports the 5G Mark IV uh, and the new iPhone 7, 7 Plus and stuff like that. But uh, it's been getting a lot of praise for being able to give you the best detail, uh, best colors for processing Fuji files uh, with the X-Trans sensor versus something like Adobe Camera Raw. And uh, what I want to do is kind of compare it uh, side by side with Lightroom and see what the differences are as far as like noise and color tone and the way that it handles the files and stuff like that. And uh, Lightroom's probably the most popular, most people use it. Uh, I mostly use Photoshop. Uh, I just like the workflow better being able to go through Adobe Camera Raw and into Photoshop and make my adjustments. But uh, that's just me, I'm old school. I, I was using Photoshop way before Lightroom came out. And uh, so I've always been using Photoshop. That's just the way I go. Uh, but I want to see if a reading developer actually does a better job at it because if it does, it might be worth actually looking into and changing up my workflow if it actually makes these files look better. So let's get right into it. First thing you need to do is go to radiantdigital.com. I'll put a link in the description and then go to free trial and then download now. All right, so once it's done downloading, you just need to agree to a few things here and then copy it to your application folder. I uh, just want to let you know right now, this program is only for Mac right now. Um, apparently it's going to be coming out for Windows, but um, for now it's just for Mac only. So it's this Celtic looking logo here. We'll open that up. And right now I'm in demo mode. Um, you can go to try demo or you can purchase. If you go to purchase, you can buy it online. And right now it's saying $142.20 Canadian. That's a lot of money for software, but I mean, if it is actually better than Lightroom for processing RAWs, it might be worth it, especially if you're doing professional work. I'm gonna be using a photo from a client's job that I shot, and I want the best quality that I can possibly get for that. So uh, it's a product shot, so I need to make sure that the RAW files are as good as they can get. But for this, I'm just gonna use the demo. I'm not gonna use the uh, full version and we'll just see what it does. I think it just puts a watermark on. So the first thing you're gonna do is gonna ask you what images it wants you to open up. And I'm just gonna open up one of these images here. Open up the 7330. And from what I can tell, a reading developer is really slow at loading in this raw file. Um, that's quite a bit slower than what Lightroom would have done. But as you can see, you get all your settings up here. Obviously the interface is different than Lightroom. Um, you get a few more options as far as changing your shadows and stuff like that. Um, you can go through the different settings here for the color. You can change your curves, detail, stuff like that. Lens profile for correcting chromatic aberrations and distortions and stuff like that. But I think for this test, I'm just going to change the color temperature and maybe adjust the vibrance. And I'll do the exact same thing in Lightroom so that way we know that they're gonna be basically similar. So I'm not gonna change any other settings, I'm just gonna change this to 4900K and set the vibrance to like 10. And you can see the input profile is Fuji X-T2 standard. Okay, as far as detail, we've got raw process here and it's choosing the X-Trans here, so I'm just gonna leave this because I don't really wanna touch it. It's obviously set specifically for the sensor in this camera. So I'm just gonna leave it the way that it comes. Um, obviously you can adjust the amount of detail and stuff like that, um, hot pixel filter and stuff like that. I'm just gonna leave it because you don't get all these same settings inside of Lightroom. So for now I'm just gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna export this file and then open the exact same raw file inside of Lightroom and see the difference. save it to the desktop and I'm going to save it as an 8-bit TIFF color space sRGB uh, no compression so hit save now exporting this file takes a little bit longer too I don't think in Lightroom it takes this long all right I'm going to close this out 
Now I'm going to open Lightroom. All right, so obviously the workflow is a little bit different in Lightroom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import the file into Lightroom and do the exact same adjustments in the raw settings. Okay, so we're going to go and adjust the raw settings on this file. Um, obviously, you get a completely different set of settings here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the white balance to the exact same 4900K and then set the vibrance at 10%. So right now, those are the exact same settings that I would have had inside of a Radiant Developer, minus some of the um, X-Trans settings that a Radiant Developer has that Lightroom doesn't have. Um, but Lightroom does have one thing that uh, a Radiant Developer doesn't have that I didn't notice anyway, is being able to use the camera's film simulation. So you've got Across and uh, Classic Chrome, which is actually the way that I shot the JPEG for this shot. Um, but I'm going to turn this off because we want them to be exactly the same. So I'm going to export and save this file as a TIFF the exact same way, bring them back in and compare them inside of Lightroom and see the difference between the noise and the color. And uh, then I might even bring in the JPEG and show you the difference between the raw file versus the JPEG. So it's going to be a 8-bit TIFF, no compression, sRGB color space. Actually, first I should save this, rename it ID for Read Developer. Um, obviously, it's exported up here, and it's way faster than a Reading Developer as far as being able to export a file. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to rename this one. To Lightroom. And we're going to open both of these up inside of Lightroom and compare them. All right, so I got the two files into Lightroom now and I'm going to compare them. And we can take a look at the differences. So right off the bat, you can see that we've got a watermark on top of this. And that's just because obviously I didn't buy a Radiant developer. So what it does in demo mode is it just throws a watermark over top of it. And obviously once you purchase it, there's no watermark. So as far as I know, you get full features um, in demo mode, just the watermark. From what I can tell right off the bat here is that the Radiant developer has a lot more contrast. Uh, versus the Lightroom, but if we zoom in here What I really want to look at is the noise Okay, so I can definitely see that a reading developer is quite a bit more sharper especially if you look at the name here versus the name here and I manually focused on the watch because uh, it's showcasing the watch and this is for a watch company. And so obviously having the watch face and focus matters the most. And yeah, the detail is quite a bit more sharper on here than it is on here. Not by a lot, but you can definitely see that there's a bit of a difference. So if you look in the shadows and the noise here, you can see that Iridium developer has more of a greenish tone and Lightroom has more of a bluish tone. Lightroom definitely has less contrast and less saturation. But I really like the noise coming off a of Radiant Developer. It's a lot more finer. You can see in the color tones here that on a Radiant Developer, we've got a lot more blue and a lot more contrast. And then on Lightroom, we've got a little bit more of a greenish tinge and less contrast and saturation, to be honest. Okay, so here's one thing I'm noticing. On Lightroom, we've got a pink hot pixel here. And then on Iridium Developer, we have a little tiny white hot pixel here. So it's obviously rendering pixels a little bit differently. But again, looking at the noise here, it's a lot more finer in Iridium Developer versus how kind of more smoothed out and chunky and digital looking uh, Lightroom has here. So what I want to do is I want to bring in the JPEG and see the difference between the JPEG versus the Iridium Developer TIFF versus the Lightroom TIFF. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in to the same percentage here on the JPEG. 
This JPEG was shot in classic Chrome. I'm just gonna scale this down so we can get the noise levels beside each other here. Okay, so looking at the noise levels on the JPEG, you can see that it's a lot more blotchy and it looks like it's had some noise reduction. But honestly, I love the way that this grain looks on a Radiant Developer. Yeah, and this TIFF is definitely way sharper than the JPEG. But, um, like everyone always says with Fuji stuff, the JPEGs look amazing, and they do look amazing. If you look at the color here, like this is an unedited JPEG, and it looks awesome. So, for me, I would try and head towards this color tone uh, with the Radiant Developer. But it might be a lot easier in Lightroom because you do have the film simulation, being able to use classic Chrome and, and drop it on top of the image. Um, the only thing I would do is I'd try and brighten the watch face up a little tiny bit. But uh, this is just kind of a quick comparison between a Radiant Developer versus Lightroom. In case you've never seen it and you're a little bit curious and just want to know what the differences are. Um, um, this video isn't really trying to say one is better than the other. I think that the detail and the way that the raw files are rendered as far as noise levels and color tone with a Radiant Developer um, is much nicer than Lightroom, but you do have the options of film simulations with Lightroom. So what Adobe should do is just hire the guy that makes a Radiant Developer come work for them and then you get the best of both worlds, you know, then you get awesome detail and color with the flexibility and um, workflow you get with Lightroom. So it'd be cool if they, you know, they hired them. Adobe should, should call a guy up. So I'm going to link all these TIFFs in the description. You can download the full quality TIFF from Lightroom, Iridian Developer as well. I'll add in the JPEGs. So you can go through all three. Um, it's hard to tell from the video. I know it's 4K, but um, a lot of you maybe just want to download it and actually see for yourself the differences. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked this video and thought it was extremely boring, give it two thumbs down and I'll see you in the next one.